so good to say that again like oh my days i missed you guys so much i've just been in like a really shitty me lately due to social media and stuff like that so that's why i haven't been posting on my snapchat or instagram or youtube uh, for the longest time i'll go through that in another video for you guys you know keep you guys updated or whatever you know <laughs> But in today's video, I want to ease back into the makeup. Just get some looks out for you guys because, you know, summer 2018, we stand and, you know, we slaying all year round. So when I'm going, I'm filling my brows because I have none. Filling my brows with this waterproof eyebrow pencil from the hair shop. These are spoolie. And then just brush the products in your eyebrow hairs. So it looks like you have eyebrows. I'm just going to quickly go in and contour my brows. I'm just going to go in there and just blend out that concealer. I swear, the lady that does my brows, she's the plug. Like, she's actually the plug. She snatched my non-existent eyebrows. So, to start off, we're going to go with Fenty Beauty to prime our face. I'm going to work that into my skin. Pat that bad boy in. Prime and ready to go. So now we're gonna go in and cover up all of the blemishes that we have so that it helps our foundation and make us look flawless and airbrushed. So I'm gonna go with my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick in the shade Espresso. Just gonna run that through around my mouth. Just dot marks. That won't leave me alone. <laughs> That's pretty much what I do. <laughs> So next for foundation, I picked up this Rimmel London Match Perfection foundation. Never tried any of the Rimmel London complexion products. All I tried from them is, is literally mascara and eyebrow pencil and liners. So I'm intrigued by this foundation and this is in the shade Deep Chocolate. I'm just gonna rub two pumps of that on my slate. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of, that's a lot of products. The foundation is looking quite red on me, but we'll work it out. Hopefully. I am looking like a burnt toast right now. So now I'm gonna do is go in my beauty blender. I'm just gonna like button start on my face to take off any excess foundation that I don't need and also buff this into my skin. So next to highlight my face today, I picked up the concealer as well. So this is the lightweight medium coverage concealer in the shade 600 dark. You just squeeze it, it comes out. Oh, oh wow. Let's try blending this out. Hmm. Ready to go. What? What's going on? I'm confused. Definitely a light coverage almost disappearing because there's nothing there. I'm just gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 50 and just try to save this look. There we go. I'm gonna go in and set my highlighted areas first with my Fit Me powder in the shade 350 Caramel. Place this lightly on the highlighted areas. I'm gonna go in and set the rest of my face using my Max Skin Finishing Powder, my Rider Dye. As you can see, there's barely anything left. I'm gonna go in and set the rest of my face. Now we're gonna go and bake, and today I'm gonna be using my YSL Souffle de Clot Setting Powder. <coughs> oh wow, I used too much. Right, so next we're gonna to come to our face, you know, chisel up the face, bring some structure back in this face that I don't have, but I'm gonna fake it. So to come to my face today, I'm gonna to be using my MAC Film Nora. I think that's how you say it. Don't judge me, I didn't get to school. <laughs> I'm just going to use that to chisel up my face. And now we're just going to dust off that excess powder. Right, so we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to grab my Pixie and It's Judy Time palette. And I'm going to grab, oh snap. That is so cute. I'm going to work that right in the crease. This is my first time ever using a Pixie eyeshadow. And I must say, I am shook. Then I'm gonna go in and grab brick. I'm just gonna use that to blend out the edges. Well, there's a lot of kickback there with this palette. So I'm gonna go in to my Juvia's Place, the Zili palette. I have this pink shade right here. I'm gonna use that instead. 
Like, I honestly didn't know what look I was doing until two seconds ago. And then I'm gonna just grab this purple shade right here. I'm gonna wet that in between my crease and my transition color. So that brown that I placed on before, I don't really need it. <laughs> So next I'm going to go into my Juvia's Place, the Magic Palette, and I'm going to grab If Air, that, and I'm going to place it in my crease instead. Actually no, let's place that all over the lid. As you guys can see, there's no fallout on my face, which I freaking love about Juvia's Place palettes because they don't snitch on me, like they don't snitch, they cooperate, you know, they're here for the girl, they're part of the team. So now we're just going to add some black liner into our waterline. And you want to apply that quite heavily. And then go back in with If Air and just smudge out your lower lash line. And then of course just add a little bit of the pink and the purple onto your lower lash line as well. And now just to give this look a little bit more oomph, we're going to go in and use this Glitter Bomb by Barry M. And this is in the shade Peace Out. I'm going to place that just in the middle and then go in with like a random brush and just spread that out evenly. So now I'm just going to go in and set my face using my Mario Badescu. Nope, that's just not the rose water setting spray. This is the aloe vera, a cucumber and green tea setting spray. Woo. So I'm going to go back into my Pixie palette and I'm going to grab this shade right here. This is called Snowflakes. I'm going to put that in my inner corners. Pop that in there. Yes! Should we highlight our face? I think we should. Right, I'm gonna use Gosh Giant Highlighter. So now all that's left to do is our lips and we'll be done with this look. So I'm gonna go in and line my lips using Mama Sita from Colourpop. And then what I'm gonna do is go in and just like buff that into our lips. I'm gonna go in and just darken up the outer part of the lips using a brown lip liner. And I'm gonna go into my bourgeois lip gloss. So yeah, so this is pretty much the completed look. This makeup tutorial could have went left, but it didn't, so we thank the Lord for that. I pretty much love this look. You guys can definitely wear it to graduation. Or you can wear this to a party, a late night summer evening party. Do you girl, like do you boo boo, like do whatever you wanna do. Sorry. And all my haters tap a look go to your ex's funeral tap a look so this is the end of the look i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this video helpful if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up it helps me out it helps my channel out a lot and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below come on it's free thank you so much for watching you guys and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys